I put this shit on. Walk away, video, ass fat, pal on. My nigga in the cut, make. I know who this is because I follow her on Instagram. I love her videos. But at first glance, I thought it was Birdman. You gag on it? <laughs> Searching? Oh I feel like a hoe right now. I don't know, whatever. If you, if you, there's nothing wrong with wanting the piece of I love kid like gagging on it so I can laugh at it afterwards. Laugh at it is. you gonna make me act up. Spit or swallow? Swallow. Always? Try. I like this one. Have you ever had one? It was just like, this was disgusting. Sometimes it's a little too warm. <laughs> too warm okay. and too oh, quick. Ha, 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 quick. Oh, 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 oh. Um, ever since the hot tui and spit on that thing girl got famous, it's been a lot of people that can't wait to be interviewed so they could um promote their fellatio skills. Sorry, my guy's last week. I'm not gonna lie. I gave this guy, like, the first time he's ever gone... That sh lasted like a good like two or three pumps, like five seconds. That's awful. Uh, that's like the most I ever gagged. Like that was bad. Damn, that's not long at all. That should like flooded my throat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the longest you think you could go? If I'm really feeling it, I feel like a good fifteen minutes. It's not bad. Fifteen. Probably gonna get a lot, y'all. But you already know I like my last long. Trying to experiment? You said that last time. Well, you dipped out. I, I just had the word. And last thing, I, next thing I know. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Blame it on me. Okay, sure, yeah. <laughs> hey, I like that aggressive sh I ain't gonna say nothing. <clears throat> What's your biggest red flag? Uh, my biggest red flag would probably be my body count. That would probably be my biggest red What's flag. What's that? It's, uh, it's in the hundreds. Okay. How old are you? I'm 32. Did you have a face in the past or are you in your face now? I, mean, I have a girlfriend now, so I'm not my... Me hearing a guy saying his body count is in the hundreds is not far-fetched to me. My body count is not in the hundreds, but I can't say the same for some of my friends. I had a friend who had a, a notebook with all the girls he slept with, and he gave it a rating, and he had their phone numbers. Now, he'd been doing that since we were in high school, and when we were in high school, it was in the 50s. He still keeps the notebook. Now, I hit it probably around like 26, 25. All right, if you could give like guys one piece of dating advice, what would it be? As a guy, you have to learn how to market yourself and you have to learn how to become the best version of yourself. Women have adapted to pick men who are actually improving, who are actually being the best versions of themselves. So if you're not doing that, you're probably not going to find a good partner. So always be improving. Facts. That's a good point. No, that's good. That's good. That's good. That is a fact. I'm working on being the best version of myself. Work on being the best version of yourself mentally, physically, financially, and everything else will come easily. If you like what you see in the mirror when you look at yourself, it'll boost your confidence. With a boosted confidence, it doesn't matter what people say about you, how people treat you. You don't give a f how people feel about you. The fact that your mind is not busy thinking about what other people are feeling about you or thinking about you you can concentrate on other things you can concentrate on making money you can work on being the best version of yourself me currently that's what i'm doing because i realize that although i'm making money on the internet and i have a good job mentally mentally i'm you know i'm missing something and it has affected me physically like a couple years ago i had an eight pack now I have a keg. Judge a woman off of her past. Offset is trending all over the internet. Why would you make a woman your wife, your girlfriend, your baby mama, or have any significance or give her your heart or anything like that with a woman who is not suitable to be with a man like... A man like who? Hold on, nah, hold on, baby girl. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on baby girl. I f so offset. But sir, are we not gonna acknowledge the fact that this man cheated throughout the relationship? Offset, high value man, high earning man. You seem to think that a high earning man is the same as a high value man. At the time of them getting together, Cardi B was on her way to being one of the biggest mainstream artists. So it's not like he picked her up off the street. And they're not the same, but go ahead. Stop thinking that your game is good enough to make a woman be something that she is not designed to be. You can't save every woman. Just because a man makes a lot of money doesn't mean he's a high value man. There are millionaires and billionaires who are morally bankrupt. Some of them have zero integrity. Not to mention the fact that Cardi has always made more money than Offset. He was splitting his money three ways. 
This man is a well-documented cheater. He cheated before and during the marriage. So why is it that men need to be careful about a woman's past? What about his past? Here comes the usual double standards. Her body count counts, but his doesn't. Her past counts, but his doesn't. Like, don't y'all get tired of this? When are you all going to hold yourself to the same standard that you were so quick to judge a woman by? Oh. Offset was always too insecure to be with a woman like Cardi. That's why he always cheated on her with fans of his. Some men are quick to say that you can't turn a you-know-what into a housewife. You also can't turn a no-good lying cheater into a faithful husband. Cardi's fatal flaw was asking a shirtless man for the shirt off his back. He couldn't give her what he didn't have. Yo, I'm gonna tell you one thing. I would hate to get in an argument with her. Boy, she would read you for filth. But she was right. And I'm a fan of Offset, bro. But you gotta call a spade a spade. He did dirt. Folks got caught cheating multiple times. She took him back. And this last time, it just blew up over the internet. She started embarrassing folks. I hate to see it happen. When I see some of my favorite celebrity couples break up and then find out the reason why they're breaking up, it'd be like, damn, damn, I thought y'all had a fairy tale marriage. Cardi B and Offset was supposed to be the hood Beyonce and Jay-Z. I went to my high school reunion yesterday and I seen some old friends of mine. So we decided to catch up and one of my friends started talking about how successful her son was. She said, my son is so successful. He owns a car dealership and he just gave his best friend a Ferrari. I didn't want to be a part of the conversation no more. So I just started scrolling through social media on my phone. But then my second friend said, oh, that's nothing. My son owns an airline and he just gave his best friend a private jet. Then my third friend said, well, my son is more successful than the both of your sons. He owns seven mansions and he just gave his best friend one. I was still looking down at my phone and then one of my friends tapped on me. I looked up at her and she said, I heard you have a son too. So what does he do for a living? Me being a proud mom, I said, well, my son is a gay stripper. My friend said, oh no, you must be so disappointed with what he's done with his life. I said, actually, no, I'm not disappointed because he is doing very well for himself. He just got a Ferrari from one of his boyfriends a private jet from his second boyfriend and a mansion from his third boyfriend. That's that's a funny joke. <laughs> I had a feeling that's where it was going. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram and make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. How old are you? 47. 45. Oh, wow. I was way off. <laughs> what is one change that you've made that has dramatically improved the quality of your life? You want to say it together? <laughs> Getting divorced. divorced. <laughs> Leaving their broke ass behind. Can you tell me about that? It's a decision that I should have made a long time prior to when I made it. So it kind of felt like freeing. Everything went up from there. You get married at a certain age and then you grow. And sometimes you realize that the person you married isn't necessarily the one that you're gonna age with. He was great when I was younger, and then as I got older, I needed something else. He just didn't fit my lifestyle anymore. What's the biggest lesson you have from each of those marriages? A personal growth. I needed to be in that relationship in order to propel myself at a higher level. I would say listen to your intuition. When I, I made the decision to leave the marriage, I had a lot of naysayers saying, your life will not get better. This is what it is, accept it. And I refused and I listened to- The romantic part of me that believe in forever I want to say something crazy but I can't find nothing to say crazy which means that I'm compelled to agree with them sometimes you might be in a relationship with somebody and things change things change and this goes for men and women and you might be in that relationship and you want and you want to make it work and you want to stay there and it's like trying to fit a Tetris piece in a space that's not made for it but you're trying to make it work you're trying to change yourself you're trying to maneuver and try to make that piece fit but the whole time you're doing that mentally you're losing yourself you're being drained mentally just because you love somebody it doesn't mean that you have to be together my gut my intuition and i'm in a much better place in every aspect it's crazy though they they over that hill they 47 let me tell you something them 47 year olds who been in relationships for a long time she finna find her somebody 25 26 Finna knocking the bottom of that pussy loose. It ain't gonna last too long. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna last for a little while. All she trying to do is relive. What's that? What's that movie? How Stella got her groove back. All she trying to do is get her groove back. She get her young boy, and he gonna tear that thing. Let me stop. Just remember, man. Just because you love somebody. 
does not mean that y'all have to be together. Sometimes you might love somebody, but they might be doing more harm than good. Okay, so if you're from Houston, Texas, you know about um, the restaurant Turkey Leg Hut and how the owner has been frauding people and taking money from people and not paying them back. Um, she in particular, um, this message is excluding Lynn completely. He has been nothing but helpful to me. Um, I have been a victim as well of her and her consultant, Carmen King. I have made several videos on here to talk about my story and tell them what I'm old. And every time I do it, God tells me to be still. So instead, what I'm going to do, and excuse my attire because I was in the gym and I stopped to make this video, is I'm gonna talk about what you should do when you are wronged by people when someone else's evil actions cause you long-term consequences. It's not get vengeance, because the Bible says vengeance is for the Lord. But if you are a true man, if you are a true woman of God, and you're in one of these positions like me and so many other victims who have been spoken out and I've seen on the news and I've seen on Shade Room, is to one, love your enemy. And I'm one doing that by not coming on here and posting screenshots and blasting these two women, like I could. Two, ask God for justice. And three, ask God to handle it and take the burden that these people have caused away. I've done them all, and I just wanna give glory to God and say, before this week, before seeing the news articles, before seeing the other people speak out, I thought I was alone. And seeing that makes me feel heard Thing that makes me feel like, wow, these people really are evil, terrible people. Um, and letting God handle it. The burden that they caused me has been since taken care of by God. And I know other people have not had that. Um, and let me say, it was not handled by them. I'm still owed money by them. Um, but it was taken care of as a sense as the issue is no longer a burden to me financially. But I know some people have not had that yet. And I empathize with you. And I pray they do the right thing. Um, and to Carmen and Nakia. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I ain't hear a word she said. Well, I heard some certain, certain things she said, actually. Let me, not, let me not do that. Sometimes people do wrong to you. And you get punished worse than them when you take revenge. Sometimes it's best to turn the other cheek. Two wrongs don't make a right. When it comes to doing business, do everything by the book. You have to pay attention. Because at the end of the day, if you negotiate something, and the terms that you negotiated to and agreed to, you later on find out it's not fair, and you're losing money, you can't blame anybody but yourself. In this particular situation, I don't know what happened. It sounds like the people... Just straight up stole money from her. So whenever you're doing business, make sure you do your due diligence. Don't sign something that you don't know about. Make sure you have somebody professionally review it, read it over, 